Good morning, everyone. We made it through another weekend. It's supposed to be a really hot one this week here in Yankton tomorrow. It's supposed to be 106 with dew point. So I suggest staying in where it's nice and cool and having a nice cool beverage these days. So our attention today is on the topic of fake news that came to be a big thing during the time of COVID and half-truths. <laughs> Gossiping or not sharing the full story about someone or something creates havoc 100% of the time. There is a story shared in Glenn Van Akron's speaker source book to illustrate this point. A sailor caught up in the celebration of his ship leave got drunk. The captain entered into the log, mate drunk tonight. The mate begged the captain, I've never been drunk on board before. You know I have always been sober, and unless you add that truth, I'll be relieved of my naval duties. The captain refused to modify his entry. A few days later, the sailor was making his entries in the log. Among other notations, he made this one. Captain was sober today. The captain was outraged when he read the entry. You have created a false impression in the minds of those who read this entry. They'll believe it's unusual for me to be sober. The sailor replied, my statement is true and it shall remain in the log. Years ago, the monastery had a facilitator for the election of prioress who offered this advice that she shared and is shared frequently among the sisters. When you are about to say something, ask yourself, is it kind? Is it necessary? And will it move us forward? If not, it probably doesn't need to be said. How true. We can't control the fake news that is out there, but we can control the fake news that comes from our own mouths. So our discussion or reflection questions this week are, why do you think that gossip gets shared and why people crave to be in the know about things or people? Do you have a situation where someone has gossiped and it has spired, spiraled out of control and hurt people, maybe even yourself? Have you ever thought that gossip is so easy to be spread, but so hard to be taken back? Woo, big things on the agenda for today, huh? It's always, um, God, my dad always said that God gave us two ears and one mouth. So we should do twice as much listening as much speaking. So maybe that is true today for us. Just want to remind you that we continue to keep you in prayer. And we continue to keep all the people in prayer in the United States, especially who are going through natural disasters right now. We have people out on the West Coast who are having fires and people on the East Coast in Kentucky who are having the floods. So we'll keep those people in prayer, those people who have lost homes and lives and um, friends and family members. And it's a really tough time for them. So let us pray. Loving God, grant that we may never fall into the sin of slander and gossip. Help us to think charitably about our neighbor and to never spread lies or rumors about them. May we always remember that our neighbor is made in your image and is deeply loved by you, the same as we are. May we treat them as we would treat you. Help us to hold our tongue when the occasion warrants. For the times that we have failed in this charity, forgive us, Lord, and grant that we may not fall into that sin again by your grace. And we ask these things through Christ and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless and have a great week. One exciting thing that I'm doing this week, I have enough fish that we caught and my nephew uh, gave us a little bit of fish. So I'm doing a fish fry tomorrow night for the sisters at the monastery. So it should be a good time. So God bless. Have a great week and we'll see you next Monday.